Billy Harris. You're hanging with Harris. We're in Beverly Hills. My good friend Stephen Colt at Caulfield's. How are you, my friend? Hanging with Harris. You are hanging with Harris, and it's long overdue. <laughs> it's great. We've been doing this since we hung out with the Stones. Hard to believe. It's Hard incredible. to believe. It's been a long time. Oh, you How are you? I'm great. Are you a culinary school guy? That's my first question. You know, I'm not. I'm You're a not. school of hard knocks guy. I was actually a chemistry major in college. So I had you no were, intention really? of doing this for a career. In fact, it was to some degree frowned upon in my family. Sure. Mama could cook. Daddy could cook. Grandma was that? Great it really wasn't. Modest oh, they were home. Good. P parents were great cooks. And you're a New York City guy. I am, and we always ate together as a family, so food was important. Really important. And I never realized how important it was to me until I thought, you know, I wasn't going to go to medical school. I said, well, what exactly you're like, am I'm not I going go to, to medical do? school. What am I right. going to do? What am I going to do? I, look, I grew up cooking since I could look over the edge of a stove. Yeah, sure. You know, I, I would make an omelet for myself because so I in your saw DNA my DNA a little food. bit. Right, yeah, of course, of course. But never as a thought to this is how I'd make a living. I went to school at University of Florida, and okay. I lived in Tennessee for a while, and where I, my younger brother and I built this small chain of pizzeria Italian restaurants. And even then, then, with five t pizzeria restaurants, yeah, I sure. did not have any idea that I would do high cooking. Right. And the truth is, when I came back to New York, which is where I was born and raised, and was fortunate enough to be introduced to Danielle Boulud at Le Cirque, yeah. I really didn't know that much. It's not like I knew so much about cooking even then. I was in the business. I was a little bit more of a businessman already yeah. and chef restaurateur. It really is amazing here how many people have worked for him, obviously forget Amazing. the thousands that have been affected. So there's something with that guy. Well, first of all, he attracted quality people. Right. And in the context of what happened in that kitchen, you then became this other Bill person. Bill Telepan was there. I'm, I'm, I'm go like out. thinking about, wait a minute. Sure, sure. Yeah. Oh my, so many, so many people. Sure. The absolute pivotal point in my career. Right. There's no question, the foundational experience for me sure. uh, was in that kitchen. Now, what is this experience for you? I mean, is it American brasserie? This is different. It is. It Look, is. You, you, most people would describe this as an American brasserie. You know, we all grew up on a kind of a European sensibility primarily. Sure. So what I tend to do here is kind of bistro trattoria cooking. I'll do yeah. uh, steak au poivre, yeah. salad niçoise. I don't call sure. it salad niçoise, but it's based on that kind of, yeah, sure. of thinking and that kind of product. It's getting a little hungry, so I'm hoping that this is the time when you take me into the kitchen. Let's go in there. I let's think we'll make there. my right. version of a niçoise salad. All right, let's go. See you. We're in California. I've got some albacore tuna from the Pacific. We poach our own. So I take this and literally put it in some extra virgin Just olive oil. Extra virgin Simple as that. I put some fennel seed, uh, bay leaf, white okay. pepper, coriander seed, a little bit of sea salt. What would be another process to poacher? This is it. You could do it in water. I mean, okay. you, you know, like you see a can of tuna that's, that's poached in right, water. Just but there. I happen to think that the, both the flavor and texture are much better in olive oil. In olive oil, sure. Very, very low temp, okay. barely percolating, and you end up getting this much more flavorful product because you're sure. using fresh albacore tuna. Okay. Literally, it's going to take seven or eight minutes poaching. So that's with that, we're going to make a salad. So you're going to help me. I'm helping. Let me put this bowl here. Put plate, a plate there. Bowl. Okay. Fabulous. Now this we're gonna do real quick. Oh hang on. A little. We're just taking some endive. I love the crunchiness. I love the texture and the flavor. It's got a slight sweet bitterness to it. Okay. Now you're gonna help me with some of this. We've got scallions. Scallions, endive, lettuce so you got far. It. We've got some, some potato. It's already poached. We've got some cherry tomato. Fabulous. We've got some niçoise olives. Niçoise yummy. Niçoise olives. We've got a little bit of shaved radish. Radish. We've got some gorgeous haricot vert, green beans. Green beans. We have egg. We're living out. We have egg, of gorgeous course. Gorgeous egg. And we have some of this beautiful dressing, right. which is our caper sherry vinaigrette. Caper sherry vinaigrette. Sherry vinegar, extra It looks like a farmer's market in a plate right now. It does. We need some of our poached albacore. Okay, fantastic. So I'm literally just going to break, break this it up. up. Correct. And this is the stuff that I put in earlier. Yes. I'm going to literally do this with my hands, okay? Yes, as you should. Gently this is this little... Here Newish, we go. modernist, like that. simple. And you'll see the way we the, played I'm, it as well. I'm watching the we whole thing. For, Can look, you see I'm assisting right now? And you're doing a beautiful job. I just want you to know that. Beautiful job. And often the care with which you just plate things in a very delicate, pretty way sure. is what you're kind of looking for here. So, Stephen, let's go over this. Really classic niçoise salad, right? It really is. It's, or it's your it's interpretation. My version. It yeah. is, but it's the classic elements, elements. of it with, with my particular style. Like you said, it's a little simple Mediterranean poached in olive oil right. with some herbs. That's right. Green beans, olives, tomatoes, eggs, radish. That's it. That's it. You know what has to happen right now? I think you... <laughs> Look at that. I just <laughs> keep a little knife and I keep a little fork. <laughs> I had a little pocket sewn in inside Perfection. the Hanging with Harris suit. It's edible. Edible's an understatement. You know what? The dressing is friggin' awesome. It's the Niswa Sour with the Stephen Call touch on it. It is. Thanks for hanging with Anytime, Harris. It's pal. been a real pleasure. Good to see you, buddy. And we'll see you real soon.